Here's my quick video of the Panerai unboxing. It's the Pam 564 to be precise. Um, so it comes very nicely packaged, as you can see. Black box. Very, very nice box, very nice looking box. Lovely. Must be worth a lot of money on its own, the box. I've had this watch for a couple of weeks, but thought I'd just do a quick unboxing video because there isn't that many on YouTube. So you get your um, tool to remove the strap, which is very easy to do, by the way. I've done that already on mine. You get your crocodile strap that comes with the actual watch itself. I've taken that off because I don't really want the dressy look. I use my pan every day. But I'll be keeping it for dressing when I go out and about. And then you get your diving watch, your diving strap, sorry. Um, not sure many people actually wear those. Take the watch out and have a quick look inside the box. So this all lifts out. And inside the bottom you get your instruction manual in many different languages. Not very hard to use the Panerai 564 anyway. And then you get your certificate book, all nicely done, and the Panerai bit is actually raised off the... I won't flick through this because obviously it's got my certificate numbers and everything, and um, we know what happens if um, people get hold of certificate numbers. Let's see, I don't want to show you that. You get some, some cleaning cloths, and obviously the um, stickers and bits and bobs. So you have to the watch itself, it comes with the Panerai protector on it. Let's just remove the protector. And you can see the watch itself. As you can see, on this actual watch, it doesn't, doesn't have the sandwich dial. It has what they call the the sausage kind of print on. Um, they've done this for um, all of the R series. Um, so this, let's have a quick look at the movement. I just see the movements lovely. I'm just covering up the certificate num the num the number at the top there with my thumb. Um, this is an R. So it's the number 111 out of a thousand. So all R's now apparently have the, the sausage dials. I don't know why they've done that. As you can see, the movement is absolutely stunning in there. Sorry for the shaky. I'm trying to get as close as I can without it being going unfocused. So this is the P5000 movement, which is an in-house movement. So the Panorama now moving away from the movements that they bring in and do up themselves um, but this is a stunning movement so let's get back to the front of the watch as you can see it's got the seconds hand sweep in there um, functionality wise what does it do it doesn't do a great thing um, you've got the clasp there and then obviously the winder 
Now this has an eight day, so you wind it once and it'll last you for eight days. It also has the function of once it's re reached its maximum wind capacity, it'll lock and it's locked now, so you can't overwind it. And apparently it takes a lot to actually break that. Um, also, if you click out there, that's your move to obviously change the time. If you go backwards, it stops the seconds so you can keep it as accurate as accurate can be. Try and get it back to the right time and then just click, click in. As I said, I've already bought an aftermarket strap for this because um, this is my everyday use. I just wanted it to look nice. I don't want it to look too dressy. Now, this is brushed titanium, so it doesn't, it's not as heavy as normal pans when you come across them in the shops. They're normally very heavy. This is very light compared to that. Now, like I said, I've been using it for a couple of weeks and hasn't got any marks on it yet, but apparently the brush titanium does mark very easily. As you can see, there's a lot of fingerprints on there. It's got sapphire glass, so it doesn't, doesn't shouldn't scratch. Um, just one thing I want to show you as well is just the loom on it as well. What we'll do, I'll take it over to the sunlight. So, get it in some sunlight there. And then we'll take it to a darker room so you can see what the loom actually does. Right, so we're going to walk over to a darker room, keep it on the loom. As you can see, I've been in the sunlight for what 30 seconds, and the loom's nice and bright already. The loom is very impressive on this watch. Um, at night, when it's been charged, and it can, you can always use it as a torch. But it's a stunning watch, as you can see. The, in my opinion, one of the nicest panoramas that are, that's out there for a base model. I will just pop it on my wrist as well, so just bear with me, just so you can actually see a wrist shot. So, and there you go on, on the wrist itself, as you can see. It's, very nice looking watch, it's really nice, nice size, not too big and not too small. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, like I say there's not that many unboxing 5, 6, 4s on me on YouTube so I'll upload it to YouTube and see what you think, but if you're going to buy one I, I definitely would go and buy one, absolutely stunning watch and it gets a lot of people asking where it's from and what Panerai actually are and as we know the panoristi day oil not a lot of people outside the watch world really have heard of panerai so hope you've enjoyed watching thank you very much